I have to tip my uh, tip my hat just a little bit to Demer and Chompy, who have consistently played together over the years. They are uh, original doubles partners. So, yep, from Smash Four, I believe. Yep. All right, so let's see where small battlefield. Interesting. Game one of winter finals. Hey, Nude, I'll be right back. Hey, everyone is about 100% right now. Nobody's lost a stock yet. Uh, oh, and just as I say that, Demer loses his first stock. RP4 makes it back with the bomb uh, recovery. Bro, uh, was it Solid just loses his first stock? Oh, Solid just pushes him back with the water. He doesn't get to land a command grab. Oh no, and then Ricky loses the first stock. <clears throat> Everyone's on the two. Oh no, no, don't tell me. Uh, Kevin, are you there? <laughs> No, okay. Well, well, we'll have to see how this ends at, uh, after. Uh, they, they were kind of far. Everyone down, was down to two stocks, and everyone had a decent amount of damage on them. Um, but I was just going to say that this is... Uh, a lot, it's a lot closer than I would have said uh, a couple weeks back. I felt like well, a couple weeks ago, Demer just made a huge improvement, um, and he's like significantly uh, doing significantly better now. Where it's like he can take on Solidus and like do a pretty good job with it, while Chompy takes on RP four. No, I have to agree. You know, I think. One of the things that's really interesting is Demer is somebody that I've met. I've met Demer, Chompy, all those guys at a lot of the live events we used to host over the years. Mm -hmm. And I think Demer, you know, obviously Chompy, but Demer has always been really interested in playing a lot of Smash Brothers. And, um, you know, specifically uh, for him, these have been really great at getting him continuous competition. You know, I feel like yeah, meeting Deemer at the time, <clears throat> he would get, you know, opportunities to play, but most of those opportunities came like few and far in between. This, yeah, on and, the other and, hand, has been like, hey, somebody is playing virtually every <laughs> single day, and um, we are consistently playing against each other in different modes and different ways, you know, every single week. Yeah, and I think that's where consistency is like a big player here in like in, uh, if you want to improve, mm -hmm. um, what is it? I also feel that it's kind of nice that we have a group where we have multiple people from different, was of different skill levels and from uh, playing very drastically, drastically different too. Everyone has their own play style, and with that, you can get like really good training from people that you wouldn't normally. If like 
if the only person you played uh this uh you ever played was you know one person it, it, i can see why it wouldn't be as fun and wouldn't be as motivating to play consistently oh gmar and them coming out on oh. top on that one man i wish i saw it <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like Xeno and company are uh, banning stages for their game, too. Um, just as a reminder, guys, this is winner's final, so this is best three out of five. Demar and Ricky right now up one to nothing in the set. Let's take a look and see how the uh, bracket's been developing. So right now, guys, you are currently watching Winner's Finals right here on top between Nintendo's Finest and the squad, Demer and Ricky as the squad, and uh, Nintendo's Finest, RP4 and Solidus. Then at the bottom, we've got um, our very own co-hosts, Zeno and Tanisha, going up against PJP and Killer uh, and Titan Killer, aka uh, Big Bill, coming through. Um, the likelihood is is that as we get through this second round, we're probably going to have a match coming up between the Young and Restless, and uh, the winner of this match going on over here. But we'll see kind of how that goes. Let's pick back up. All right, let's take a look back at the Discord. I'm not seeing them talk about stage striking just yet in the so Discord. I think they're probably select. They're probably trying to find the stage. I know that every time, um, yeah, they're they're trying to find it right now. They probably already selected it. I know that every time like a new stage gets um, added to the list, it's always super confusing. I'm just like, I'm like super used to seeing Smashville at like you know like a certain column, a certain part of the map, uh, the the uh, the, the list. Mm -hmm. But and every time they add like one or two new stages, it's always like moved oh that's and, a good point yeah yeah because <clears throat> it's not like you know one of the things we have been trying to do for the longest was we were trying to see if we could set stages specifically in the lobby uh but unfortunately you can only do ran either random mm -hmm. or random omega omega battlefield rather mm -hmm. and choose so there's no yeah. way of saying, hey, like, I want to go into this and just set specific stages I, up. I know when when I'm just playing friendly, I like to set this uh, the ra set it to random, but I'll run it to I'll, I'll change the options of my random to to make it so it only randomizes the tournament legal stages. Uh, it's like if you're just playing friendlies, you're not like concerned about counter picking or, or anything. It's a it's the easiest way to get like a variety of stages in. <clears throat> Okay, but it looks like we're going to Lilat. Um, I don't have much of an opinion on Lilat. I know a lot of people can't stand Lilat. But Lilat did get uh, supposedly fixed. It's a little less buggy, less janky now. Lilat is certainly our least big stage of everything. <laughs> I actually don't mind to see, see it every once in a while. Um, ooh, that up smash catching uh, RP4, and the Demon loses the stock pretty quick, uh, soon after, right after two. I know that RP4 actually really likes Slylet, mostly because uh, the slants le lets his bombs travel. Yeah. Without uh yeah yeah without too much added momentum, um. Ooh, okay, sorry. I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on. A lot a lot of stuff happening, but like looks like they're still pretty even. Um, Ricky taking up a decent amount of damage, but that's what happens when you've got a big body. Uh, 
Ooh, solid is ladder count. Looks like no. the uh, stocks are even though. Two, two, yeah. four each. But uh, red team's percentages are really high. Yeah. yeah. Um, Zeno, congratulations on your win over off stream. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring you and Tanisha with the Young and Restless back into the uh, lobby after the conclusion of Winners Finals. Sounds good. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, I was just going to say, this is looking a lot better for RP4 and Solidus, but it, oh and my it god. it looks like we're not going to no. watch the rest of it. No. No. <laughs> I saw that like... this happened on the first game. <laughs> And it looks like we are not going to have to get the see. So, uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys with the crystal ball predictions. I, don't, um, I missed the first game. Tell me about what you got, they got to see. Uh, it was a very similar situation. It was super close. And then the game, we just lost connection. <laughs> the game okay. said, and you have watched enough. Thank mm. you very much. But the winner was uh, Champion Deemer. Right. Interesting. Yeah, so Chompy... Wait, okay, Chompy and Deemer. Well, so playing against Solidus and um, and RP4 was... It was oppressive. I think that's really <laughs> the only way I can describe it. Uh, with Mario and his low percent combos, it was terrifying to be next to. And then with Link, just having chunky hits, uh, being able to close out stocks relatively early, but RP4 still being very patient with his projectiles was a really frustrating match because when you felt like you got away from from Mario it didn't matter because uh, there there was a bomber a boomerang in your face <laughs> so like it just it didn't feel like there was does, much room to breathe at all does the boomerang t force turn you around it does it does so that can actually like really disrupt you like if you weren't expecting to need to be reverse like off stage, right? Like uh, let's say you're yeah. trying to jump back, yeah. But I, I don't I don't remember that situation happening. But I don't I'm think not... that happened. Mm -hmm. I know in the very first game, uh, I tried to go off the stage to. Ooh, we get got a tie. Oh, tie one one. One one, nice. And this is gonna go to best of five. Best of five, right? so yep. Best of three. So once again, you guys are currently watching Des Jess Doki. Let's um, catch back up into some action from the previous week. Um, we've actually watched this, seen a lot of detail from this match. I want to try to see if we can catch some of the matches from earlier in the day. There we go. So Gnarly and Phil had a set um, that Gnarly wins, I think, at the beginning of winners. I think this is winners round one or two. Oh good, it looks like we're getting ready to have some guys hop back in pretty quickly. Yeah, Gnarly pretty good. Had, Yeah, he had really great he had really great uh wins last week, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> there you are a week a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is where we had those Bowser's ver Bowser versus Mario matches where uh, Gnarly and Solidus were playing up against each other. Solidus playing today as a part of Nintendo's finest. This was a great match, getting to see Mario versus Bowser. Yeah, no, I we uh, we were remarking on the classic matchup. Um, Broski, uh, Broski, really exciting to kind of watch with his combo ability with Mario. Um, and then Gnarly being a newcomer for us um, and kind of getting a feel for things as Bowser kind of uh, kind of refreshing to see that uh, that player, that character whom we, we just haven't seen from a lot of our players. Not a lot of our guys play Bowser. Yeah, it was nice refreshing to see 
new character. I think uh, our tournament's pretty interesting with around, I want to say, 16 consistent entrants. We still don't really have many duplicates. I think the only duplicate might be myself and RP4 playing Link. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's take a look. It looks like the guys are falling into, I can hear them falling into the arena now. Alright, let's cross our fingers and hopefully we get to watch the whole match this time. <laughs> Tied up at one one apiece. Oh, Yoshi's. You know, we actually saw a decent amount of Yoshi's today. We yeah, haven't we got seen a lot of Yoshi stage today. We got yeah, two. yeah, we haven't seen a single final destination. Uh, we've seen some small battlefields. Yeah. I'm still really surprised at seeing Yoshi so much, considering how small the uh, blast zones are. But I do feel like nobody really wants to play on FD because there's no platforms. So <laughs> being true. able to move around your opponents, would, or like your ally more so, mm. would be very difficult. Mm. Whereas platforms at least let you have some dimension to your game. Nope, and we no. do not. <laughs> we don't get to we watch. We do not it. get to watch those. Oh games. my god! <laughs> uh, I wonder, huh? Is this uh, is this only this specific pairing, like uh, this specific matchup that this has happened? So yeah, let's take a look at the bracket really quickly because I know we had a dropout earlier today, and um, you know I want to say that. It was during this match that we had a dropout. We did not get to watch the entirety. Remember, we didn't get to watch the entirety of that match. Hmm. So right now, we've been having experiencing issues and um, tuning in to Nintendo's finest. And it's really funny because this week, I went through everything to make sure that it wasn't me. So like, just to give you guys an idea, boom you guys can see in the top right hand corner that i'm like <laughs> wired and i was like doing packet loss tests and everything like so what's really interesting we're going to get into like some tech talk um <laughs> so like what's really interesting and i'm going to share this with like a lot more people because i, I was sharing and like while i'm in a tournament especially if we get really really bad connections um there's a few web addresses you can use on board for your uh, actual so xbox is really good about it because xbox will give you a packet loss and a nat test it'll tell you what your nat is um and it'll tell you what your packet loss is but there's a website unfortunately you can't do it with the switch as well because they don't have a web browser just yet or anything really like it um but what you can do is you can take a look at the uh at the ip address that you use for your switch and you can do a packet loss test on your playstation you can use your web browser and go to a website and check what your packet loss is and um i've been using it as a validation tool for people to see whether or not they are losing packets and it's just like guys if you're if your matches are bad and we get a chance to take a look at your your wired your wired connection is on but you consistently have bad matches then we can tell it's like oh you're wireless and you're on the other side of the house so, like that's interesting because it's like it's consistently you get dropping i wonder if uh like it's when it's evaluating the connectivity of everyone uh, it's just saying that, like, hey, even though you're not the issue, we're going to drop you just to have less people? No, you know, I really do think that that's part of the equation because they even tell yeah. you at the onset. Nintendo says straight up, like, hey, so if you have trouble, make sure to get people out of spectators mode, right? And mm -hmm. even when, like, we would have a lot of people, uh, looks mm -hmm. like uh, Team Beamer uh, Beamer and Chompy. Beamer and Chompy, Beamer and Chompy ahead, taking the second match. But yeah, no, it seems like uh, I think to some degree it'll just say, hey, like to recover the match, which I think is more, I would admit, is more important than making sure that the match stays healthy um, and kicking out, you know, people that spectate and stuff like that. I would rather have that. Um, but here's the thing, guys. Spectating at this point is not the bandwidth hog that we used to think it was, you know, 10 years ago. 
it just really is not you know and what we didn't have years ago remember when people's internet speeds used to be like five megabits it would be like five and so it was like yeah sure it was a big deal then but like no one no one has like a minimum no one has like a minimum of like five or ten on internet speed everybody is like you know at least from a consumer side most everyone has like a minimum 50 meg package and whatnot so most of those things don't really you know affect spectating in that way but what does affect spectating is being on wi-fi and i think that um you know i don't know much about the uh difference wi-fi wise between switch generation one and switch generation two but i can certainly tell you on other consoles especially the consoles in this generation that came out in 2013 those wi-fi cards just don't hack if you're trying yeah, to my, if you're trying to stream and do all of that stuff it's not a good look my hope is that um there's there's been rumors about a, a new generation of the switch coming uh i remember hearing a little bit about it last week but uh my hope is that they're introducing new hardware where basically um this is significantly less of an issue and the, I'm hoping the hardware is good enough where they can implement uh, rollback. I know that like rollback um, netcode is like really popular for like not really popular, but it's like the the thing you want is you want like reliable um, net code, good netcode. But uh, one uh, one theory that like this guy I was watching on YouTube was saying is that the reason why uh, we might not get it for this version uh, of the Switch is that. Uh, it might just be hardware lim uh, hardware limitations where uh, the game would have to down res a, a, a bit of its gameplay, and Nintendo probably would would prefer not to do that. I don't know, uh, Zeno. Did you have any thoughts on that? Uh, so for rollback netcode, I think that we're we're kind of just hamstrung right now for Smash Ultimate. I think that uh, rollback has to be coded for. Uh, for those of you that don't know how rollback and uh, delay-based games work. Uh, I can, I'll do my best to try Give to describe it. Give it a shot, it. right. It's not, it's not like the most straightforward science. Mm -hmm. Right, so the way fighting games work, at least, for when you're playing against other people, you've got two people that are playing, and when one person is trying to do an attack, say Samus is charging their charge shot and they're shooting it at you, um, they will implement that they're shooting the charge shot and in a delay-based game, the input comes in and uh, it passes over the wire to the other connection. And when they verify that they've received it, then both systems get to see that the charge shot comes out. Um, and only after it actually gets over to it will it actually show it for both people. Whereas uh, for rollback, what happens is if the Samus is just, they were just implementing that they are charging and um, they want to shoot early. The receiving side is just receiving whatever input they got last. So they just assume that Samus is going to be charging uh, and they're acting as if that's happening. And the game is basically trying to predict what the other character player is going to be doing next, which most of the time is doing what they were literally just doing doing yeah um and so like if if they were walking back and forth that's probably a better example like if they were walking forward the character would continue to walk forward in a rollback game uh until the other uh input gets sent maybe they're trying to move backwards if that's the case there's a little bit of like a a graphical glitch you could say and that they kind of just teleport backward really quickly but because most of the time they are going with what they were just doing, it's very, very smooth as far as what you get to see. Uh, and because the game is basically trying to predict what you're doing next, you it feels so much better as opposed to it being like, oh, suddenly there's a Bowser forward smash in my face. <laughs> uh, so I am gonna have to interrupt you here. Ricky uh, Chompy just got like one of the coolest kills ever. <laughs> it was did you pretty see fresh. Yeah, did you see that? That was uh he, he he did the up air like way up near the ceiling and got both RP4 and Solidus. That was a really good lead for that. Actually, let me try to clip that. Did you say that uh, 
Chompy got that kill? I saw yeah. that RP4 had used his uh, aerial spin attack and had somebody in the air way high. Huh. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll go back and watch it. Yeah, we'll it's, see. It's, yeah. Okay, RP4 art is, is basically eliminated, and then now it's just Broski. It looks like the stock lead is tremendous. In yeah. Chompy and Demon. Well, oh we, my got God. To see, we got really? to see as much. We got to see as much as it we could have possibly saw. You know, honestly, just... I'm thankful. I'm just thankful we got down to someone's last stock. Now watch yeah. this. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be for our luck. It'll be like, oh no, and RP4 makes a full comeback against them, and nobody got to see it. Yeah, that would be. Really sad. Tragic. <laughs> it would be tragic. Were you able to clip that though? What we yes, I, I got it. It'll, it'll pull we that try back. to see yeah. what happened in that early part of the match. It takes a second for some of those clips to uh, hop back. You know, because mm -hmm. what they do is they basically process a video, and then Facebook, you know, applies it to whoever space it is. Um, so, okay. Looks so it like looks like Chompy and Deeper did end up taking it. Yep, we end up getting the results we thought we were going to get with a 3-1 victory their way.